Hello everybody and welcome to my March blog from Strasbourg. It's a beautiful day here, it's been a lovely week actually so I hope you're enjoying the same good weather back in the UK. This is an interesting session because what we're really doing is clearing up now. We're, our last session in Strasbourg is April, so we're clearing up loose ends largely and making sure that all of the legislative bits that we want to see go through, get through. And perhaps more importantly, we're trying to see off some of the legislative um, proposals that we don't want to see through. And a good example of that is something called plant reproductive materials, which is a very fancy way of saying seeds, and plants and one of the proposals that was made which was very very difficult for the UK was the idea that all ornamental plants would have to be registered so all the different 14 different types of lavender would have to get special registration which would be expensive and quite frankly it's totally unnecessary and there were many other issues in this piece of work as well so what we've done is we've effectively thrown that back to the Commission this week um, we voted to reject the proposal in its entirety and return it to committee for more work and ask the Commission to revise their proposal. Now this might not sound very astonishing but actually in my five years in the Parliament it's the first time I've sat in plenary and seen that happen. We do sometimes get rejections of reports and indeed we had a rejection yesterday of a, a report on gender equality. But that's what's known as an own initiative report, which has no legislative weight. But to reject a legislative report, one that's been worked on by the Commission for many years, is really quite groundbreaking. I'm looking forward to coming back after this election and seeing a little, little bit more of that from the Parliament, because actually that's what we're there for, is to stick up for our constituents. So we've done plant reproductive materials this week. Another thing which is on the agenda to be voted today is something called the European Single Sky. And European Single Sky is all about getting uh, air traffic control systems to work more closely together. It's all quite interesting and improving stuff. It's a sort of area where Europe should be cooperating a little bit more. But unfortunately, we've again got the rather unfortunate situation of a Spanish MEP putting forward all kinds of amendments, four of them in fact, to exclude Gibraltar from this legislation. There is no justification for this at all and we will be very firmly voting against those amendments and I'm hoping that we'll take the majority of the Parliament with us. Certainly that's how it seems at the moment from the discussions I've had. That vote will be later today so I hope I'll be able to report back on my written report to you that we were successful in making sure that Gibraltar is not discriminated against. It really is quite outrageous the way that these Spanish MEPs will pontificate and lecture us about equality and European solidarity and then when they get a chance they'll have a go at Gibraltar. Gibraltarians have suffered enough what with all the incursions into their waters, with the problems on the border, the delays, their daily lives are made difficult enough. To try and discriminate against them in this way is really quite, quite outrageous. So that's really the two major things for me this time. Lots more going on, but it's really a little bit of a cleaning up issue. Another thing that we will be doing today is voting on a resolution from the Green Party, supported by the Socialists and UK Labour, which is to try and make sure that products that you eat, food that you eat, if it has what's known as engineered nanomaterials, that means small particles, they will have to be labelled. And they claim that that's because of citizens of Europe demand for this. Now, just bear in mind how much it's going to cost for every piece of processed food that you eat, from a bar of chocolate to a packet of cornflakes, to be relabeled and for those uh, nanoparticles to be tested. I just don't see any demand for it at all, so I should be voting against. I can honestly say that in the five years I've been an MEP, I have received tens of thousands of emails and letters from all of you, and nobody has asked me to make sure that we label engineered nanomaterials in food. So I can quite honestly say that I'm voting with my constituents on that one. So I'm going to sign off now. Enjoy this lovely weather, enjoy your weekend, and I'll speak to you again in what will be my last video blog from Strasbourg in the April session before we close down for our election, which, if I may remind you, is on the 22nd of May. Look forward to seeing some of you during the campaign.